Pet Lovers, welcome back to my channel. For the newcomers, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell button for more updates on my videos. Mat Lovers, for today's vlog, we're gonna have factoring polynomials. So, what is factoring polynomials all about? Or, how do we define factoring polynomials? So, factoring polynomials or factoring is actually the inverse process of multiplying polynomials. Or, meaning to say, or simply, factoring is the inverse of special product. Now, let us have our first category of discussing factoring polynomials. Okay, mat lovers, let us have first factoring simple trinomials. I have here our first example. This is an example of a simple trinomial. Trinomial meaning to say there will be three terms. So let us count the terms. One, two, three. So this is an example of a trinomial. But how can we identify if this is a simple one? It is simple when the numerical coefficient of our first term here is 1. So we have here imaginary 1, therefore, this makes this trinomial a simple 1. So we will have now factoring simple trinomials. Let me show you our answer on our first example. Our first simple trinomial is x squared plus 6x plus 8. It's equal to the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. So these two binomials here will be our answer. These are the factors. These are the factors of this x squared plus 6x plus 8. But how did we get these two factors? First factor and second factor. What do you think are the steps that we have in order to get these two factors? Very easy. So, in our simple trinomial here, first thing that we're going to do is to consider the first term. Our first term is positive x squared. Get the factors of x squared. Factors of x squared are x and x x and x. We just have to prepare two pairs of parentheses on the other side. And then after getting the factors of x squared, now we distribute the two factors. We put it here, x and x. So that would be for the first step. Second step, we are going to consider the third term. This is our third term, positive 8. We need to get the factors of the third term, positive 8. The factors of 8 will be 1 and 8, or 1 times 8 equals 8. And another factors are 2 and 4, or 2 times 4 equals 8. Now, to get our final answer, we have to make sure that the sum of these factors will equal to the numerical coefficient of our second term, which is positive 6. So, we have here product 1 times 8, 8, 2 times 4, 8. After that, we have to get the sum of the factors of 8. So, we copy here. Let us try to add 1 plus 8 equals 9. So, it will not equal to 6. But for the second uh, factors, we have 2 and 4. If we're going to add 2 plus 4, that will equal to 6. Therefore, we just have to copy this. That is positive, positive 4, and positive 2. Thus, we get our factors. Quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. Now, if you are not really sure if it is the final answer, of course, you can check. You just have to recall your learnings on special products. So, let us get the product. x times x, x squared. Next, we add 4 plus 2. We will have positive 6 attached to x. And then, we get the product 4 times 2. That is equal to positive 8. Therefore, our answer or our factors are definitely correct. Now, let us have our second example, of course, with our answer. Our second example here for the simple trinomial is x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals the quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. This is our simple trinomials. This is our simple <laughs> trinomials. After getting the factors, we have our answer, quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. So, how did we do that? 
let us have the process. So as you can see, we have almost the same uh, example on the first example, but as you notice, the only difference here is the sign in between here. Our first step here is to consider the first term, positive x squared. Get the factors of positive x squared, definitely the factors are x and x. We distribute it here, we have x and x. Next to consider for the second step is the third term, positive 8. Get the factors of positive 8, consider of course the sign, positive 8. So we have here product, the factors are 1 and 8 or maybe 2 and 4. So, if we're going to get the product, 1 times 8, positive 8, of course, these are positive, ha, huh? imaginary. So, 2, positive 2, and positive 4, that is positive 8. So, we're on the right track. Now, let us check if, or if we're going to add these two pairs of factors, if we can get our middle term, which is negative 6. So, we have here the sum, that is right to add. 1 plus 8, that is positive 9. Next, 2 plus 4, that is positive 6. So, do you think we get the answer here? So, of course, maybe our factors are not correct. So, meaning to say, we just try to change the sign here. We make it negative, we make it negative, negative, and negative. And, of course, we have here negative, 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 and negative. Now, let us try to finalize our answer. Try negative 1 times negative 8, that is positive 8. Negative 2 times negative 4, that is positive 8. We're on the right track. Now, if we add negative 1 times negative 8, that is negative 9. Negative 1 times negative 9. And if we add negative 2 and negative 4, that is negative 6. So as you can see, we were able to get our second term, negative 6. Therefore, this will be our factors. We have negative 4 and negative 2. To check our answer if this is correct, let us try to get the product by the special products. x times x, we have here x squared. Next, negative 4 plus negative 2, that is negative 6, we attach x. And then negative 4 times negative 2, that would be positive 8. Therefore, our factors are correct. Yes, but lovers, now let us have our third example of factoring simple trinomials. Our third example here is y squared plus 5y minus 14 equals to the quantity of y plus 7 times the quantity of y minus 2. This is our simple trinomial with a variable y and these are our factors. Okay, so how did we get the factors? We will follow the same steps or processes that we have. First, we are going to consider our first term, y squared. Get the factors of y squared. The factors are y and y. Next to consider is the third term, which is negative 14. So we're going to have it here, product. So we'll get the factors, the possible factors of negative 14. We have 14 and 1, and 7 and 2. But remember, we have negative signs. So we have to make sure uh, the signs of these factors to get negative 14. But before we're going to decide the sign, let us first consider our middle term or our second term, which is positive 5. Positive 5y five or simply positive 5. We have it here sum. So, considering our factors here of negative 14, we have, we're going to try to add the factors if we can get positive 5. So, of course, if we're going to do that, 14 plus 1, that would not equal to positive 5. 7 plus 2 is not also equal to positive 5. So, we have to change the sign. So, as we can see here in our middle term, positive 5, meaning to say, since that is positive, for our product here, the uh, biggest number should carry the sign, which is positive. So, this one will be positive, and this will be negative. Let us try to have the answer. So, if we're going to multiply positive 14 times negative 1, that will be equal to negative 14, correct? And, of course, positive 7 times negative 2, that is also equal to negative 14. So, whatever the signs that we have here, we're going to copy that one here. So, this is positive. 
and this is negative. Now, let us try to get the sum of these numbers. Positive 14 plus negative 1. That is equal to positive 13. That is not equal to positive 5. So, that's not the factors. Next, we have here positive 7 plus negative 2. Of course, the answer is positive 5. Therefore, we are now on to our answer or factors. So, since we get the factors, if we multiply, we have negative 14, that's third term. And if we're going to add, we can get the middle term, positive 5. Therefore, definitely this is our factors. So, we put it there, positive 7, and we have here negative 2. So, that will make our factors for this simple trinomial. To check, let us try to have the special product or the product of this, y times y, that is y squared. Positive 7 plus negative 2, that is positive 5, attached y for the shortcut. And then positive 7 times negative 2, that is negative 14. Meaning to say, our factors here are correct. Okay, mat lovers, let us end up our discussion and having three examples. Let's have the recap. We have get the factors of the first term and second get the factors of the third term and make sure that those factors is equal to the middle term when they are going to be added so we have two easy simple steps or two simple steps to follow make sure that you have learned from it keep on learning keep on watching and be math lovers <laughs>